everyone! So today we're going to be talking about this soft and squishy cow pattern. And I posted this pattern up on my blog, so if you would like to actually see written instructions for this, it will be linked down below. But let's just kind of talk about the structure, the materials that you'll need, and then I also demonstrate how to do this stitch and how to join it together later on in the video. So this cowl is about 65 inches in length and then you join the two short ends together and then you'll just kind of do a double twist around your neck to kind of get you this look. So the materials you are going to need is a crochet hook. This is the seven millimeter crochet hook and I will have the materials linked down below for you guys. So you guys can just click and go to the website and be able to purchase the items or at least see what the items look like so you can be on the hunt for them whenever you're out shopping. So this one's actually by Hobby Lobby. It's just kind of a cheap crochet hook. It's the only one I have. I believe Clover makes one also, but this one's not bad at all. You can find it for a couple bucks at Hobby Lobby and it's a very pretty yellow shade, which I love. And the yarn you're going to use is going to be, actually features one of my favorite yarns. It is the Lion Brand Basic Stitch Yarn. I really, really love this yarn. It is so soft. It actually really creates a very nice squishy texture to the cow, which I've found I've used a couple different yarns. This is my personal one, but I've actually made a couple for my Etsy shop. And I used a couple different types of yarn. I kind of feel like this might be my favorite though. I just really love this yarn and it's very affordable. It's going to take two skeins of it, of just the normal basic stitch. This is the anti-pilling one. But so like I said, this is probably, I like the texture that it turned out in and it's really soft. So two skeins, I just want to let you know though. So it took two skeins. I had about this much left of the second skein. So if you're worried you might make a mistake or you worry you want to make it a little bit longer, I would definitely buy a third skein just to be on the safe side. But some of the other yarns that um, my mom's actually made this cow and she used the Yarn B Soft and Sleek. That's a Hobby Lobby brand yarn and that one turned out really pretty and she really enjoyed it and liked it and it still had that squishiness and that softness that we're all looking for. And then I used an off brand of Joann's for a cow I believe and that one actually turned out really soft and squishy too so I think most yarns you use will be soft and squishy which is what you're looking for when you make this cow. So the thing about this pattern, I think a lot of people who are familiar with crochet are going to be a little like, hmm, you use a pretty big hook for this size of yarn. And it may look a little odd. You'll see in my demonstration, it does look a little bit loopy, but in the end, it all works out. You just kind of have to stay with it and not give up. It adds, that kind of is what's going to build up the squishiness and the lightness and kind of make it lay better is by having a bigger hook. Now the stitch I use is I double crochet in between the stitches. This is not a new stitch at all. My mom actually found this stitch in a mid to late 1800s crafting book. And so it is not new at all. It's been around for over a hundred years, which I think is really cool that we still use techniques and stitches from that time period. It's really cool to see how they lived on through history. So I'm just kind of a sucker for that type of stuff. It makes me really happy to see that they use the same techniques we use today and they created beautiful things also. So like I said, I did not come up with this stitch. It's been around for a very long time. I just decided to use it to make a cow. So not really my pattern. And so just letting you know, I did not come up with it. I just want to make that kind of clear. But yeah, so it's very, very simple. Like I said, it's just double crocheting in between the stitches. So if you know how to double crochet, if you know how to chain double crochet and slip stitch, you can make this cow easy peasy lemon squeezy. So now after I've kind of covered all of that, I am going to just kind of go on into the demonstration. All right, let's get started on that squishy cow. Let's grab our crochet hook and our yarn. The first thing we're going to do is make a slip knot 
and then we are going to chain 23. This is what our chain is going to look like and since we are using a bigger hook with worsted weight yarn it is going to look a little bit loopy the chain especially but even a couple your first couple rows are going to have kind of a loose loopy look to them but that actually helps with the squishiness of the cow and also even kind of helps with the softness so don't worry if it looks a little loopy that's all part of the pattern and just stick with it and it'll all turn out so what we're going to do for the first row is we are going to be going into the third chain. So not this is the first one, second one, here's the third one. We're going to double crochet. And then we're going to double crochet in each chain. row is going to look like a little loose but trust me it's all gonna work out so after the first row you're going to chain two and now instead of working into the stitches we're going to be working in between the stitches and your first double crochet is going to be in between that last double crochet of the first row and the next one so it's gonna be in that gap right there we're gonna double crochet and then our next double crochet is going to be in that gap between the next two double crochets. And we're just going to continue double crocheting in between the stitches all the way across. And then I will show you where your last double crochet is going to go. To be putting it in between the this last double crochet and the chain two sometimes I think this is probably the most confusing part of double crocheting in between the stitches is where does the last stitch go and we're not gonna be working into that chain two we're gonna be working in that gap between the two in between that double crochet and the chain two so we're gonna double crochet right there and it's gonna create a nice straight line for your edges. So that is what it looks like to double crochet in between the stitches. And let's do one more row. So we're gonna chain two, turn, and then that first double crochet is gonna go right here in that gap between that first double crochet and the next one. And we're gonna continue in between the stitches.
last double crochet goes in between the last double crochet and the chain two in that gap right there all right so this is what it's going to look like and this stitch does create a nice texture for your cow and we're going to be doing double crochet in between the stitches for about 65 inches and then we're going to end up connecting the two short ends together and so i will see you in just a moment and show you how to do that all right so here are our 65 inches we are all done and what you're going to do is lay it out flat and you're going to fold the piece in half and you want to make sure that it is completely fat, flat and that there's no twist in it because we do not want there to be a twist in our cow whenever we join it. So now we're going to hold the two pieces together. So it's going to look like that. So two pieces together. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to turn. So you're gonna have the, your actual starting chain on the side facing you. And keeping with the pattern of us working in between the stitches, we're going to be slip stitching the two short ends together in between the stitches. So here we're going to work. So here is the in between the stitches on the starting chain end and then we're going to look over here this is the end we've been working on here is in between the stitches the gap in between the stitches so we're going to go through both of the fabric and we're going to slip stitch it and then we're going to go to the next gap so a lot of times you can lay it where it's absolutely flat and you can see the gap kind of forms on just naturally so you're going to go into that one and then sometimes pulling it apart and finding that gap makes it easier to see. And we're just going to keep slip stitching in between the stitches in those gaps all the way across. stitched all the way across and sometimes what I like to do to make sure it doesn't cinch too much because sometimes if you make your stitches a little too tight it can cinch and be a little too short and you can tell where the join is and sometimes I just do a gentle pull sometimes that helps loosen up the stitches a little bit so now we are going to chain one and finish off and since I really did not have a lot left of my second skein I'm just gonna pull that tail it's a little bit long but it'll make it easy to weave through so now you'll just flip it inside out so you can't see the join. It's pretty invisible for the most part since we worked in between the stitches. And then we will just weave in our ends and we will have a finished soft and squishy cow. All right guys, so that covers it. I hope you guys enjoy your new soft and squishy cows. And if you do end up making one, I would love to see it. So please tag me on Instagram. My username is at happy makes you. I would love to see it. So please tag me in that. And if you want to follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, like I said, I do have an Etsy shop and a blog. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys to check out. And Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye